I'm holding here a very special brick. This is a brick from a Baptist church in Ukraine that was completely and utterly destroyed by one of the incoming aerial bombardments. You can see here the remnants of the flames of fire that completely consumed this sanctuary when the sounds of worship were turned into the sounds of war. It is but one of hundreds of churches that have been damaged or destroyed. This brick sits on my desk as a constant reminder that we are to be ambassadors of peace. In the midst of war and violence, persecution and uncertainty, anxiety that seems to permeate this world, we are called to be ambassadors of peace in Jesus Christ. February marks the second anniversary of this unjust invasion of Ukraine. It also marks the third anniversary of an unjust coup in Myanmar that overthrew a democratically elected government that has destroyed thousands of lives. One of those victims is Pastor Samson, who even today remains incarcerated in a military prison for his willingness to speak up the truth of what is happening. So on this week, as we remember the two-year anniversary of the war in Ukraine and the three-year anniversary of the coup in Myanmar and the ongoing reality of war and violence in many places around the world, would we join together in prayer and as ambassadors of peace in Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we stand together in prayer, praying that your peace would permeate this world, that your justice would lead to flourishing freedom, be with all who are suffering, and call us to live together as your ambassadors of peace in Jesus Christ. Amen.